students let us calculate the ratio of lambda max to lambda minimum for different series of lines this video is the continuation of my previous video first lambda max what is lambda max lambda max is the wavelength of the first line wavelength of the first line first line is nothing but h alpha line h for h alpha line n2 is equal to n1 plus 1 n1 plus 1 is equal to n2 from which the electron is coming back to the first shell right now what is lambda minimum lambda minimum is the series limit wavelength series limit means the electron is coming from infinity to the first orbit okay in the lyman series for lyman series we are talking here for lyman series from the infinity to one first shell the electron is coming that line that wavelength is called series limit line and it has the highest energy highest energy therefore minimum wavelength the lambda max and lambda minimum can be calculated from the rydberg equation by using this rydberg equation we can calculate the wavelength or wave number here i have calculated for lyman balmer passion bracket fund you see students this is the lambda max lambda max is obtained by substituting n2 value as the next value next value to n1 n2 is equal to n2 is equal to n1 plus 1 okay n1 is the lower shell to which the electron is coming and n2 is the higher shell from which the electron is coming right so by substituting this we get this formula n2 square into n1 square by n2 square minus n1 square into r right this is the h alpha line for different series of lines lyman balmer passion bracket fund and hanfrey series we get the lambda max values like this by substituting the values we get 4 by 3 r 4 by 3 r here 1 by r is equal to 1 by r we know 1 by r is equal to 912 angstrom units right so 4 by 3 r is 4 by 3 into 912 angstroms that is the lambda max for lyman series and for balmer series 36 by 5 36 by 5 here uh, n1 value is 2 and n2 value is 3 so we get 36 by 5 into 912 angstrom units for passion series n1 value is 3 and n2 is 4 we will get 144 by 7 for bracket similarly 400 by 9 r fund 900 by 11 r and for the last series hanfrey series 1764 by 13 r okay 1 by r value we are substituting as 912 angstrom units right students now lambda minimum lambda minimum lambda minimum is here for getting lambda minimum n2 is equal to infinity so this factor becomes zero so it will be n1 square by r n1 square by r this is the series limit wavelength so it is the for lyman series it is 1 by r which is equal to 912 angstrom units for balmer it is 4 by r 4 into 912 similarly for passion 9 by r bracket 16 by r fund 25 by r and hanfrey 36 by r if you see the ratio of lambda max to lambda minimum lambda max by substituting lambda max n2 square into n2 square into n1 square divided by n2 square minus n1 square r divided by lambda minimum lambda minimum what is lambda minimum n1 square by r 
if you come to the numerator if you take this to the numerator it becomes r by n1 square this n1 square and n1 square and r will get cancelled so it becomes n2 square by n1 square minus n2 square by n2 square minus n1 square right so by using this we get 4 by 3 for Lyman series Balmer series 9 by 5 fashion 16 by 7 and bracket 25 by 9 and fund 36 by 11 and Humphrey 49 by 13 by seeing this you can easily remember the ratio of lambda max to lambda minimum for each series of line you can see here it is 4 by 3 4 is 2 square 2 square by 3 and 3 square by 5 the denominator is increasing by 2 units the denominator is increasing by 2 units and the numerator is becoming the square of the next number 2 square, 3 square, 4 square, 5 square, 6 square and 7 square for 6 series of lines. Right students? By using this you can easily remember the ratio of lambda max to lambda minimum. I hope this video will be very useful for the objective questions. Students, now let us see how to calculate the total number of spectral lines obtained in the electronic transitions. If we know N1 and N2 values, N1 is the lower principal quantum number, that means the lower orbit to which the electron is coming and N2 is the higher orbit from which the electron is coming. Here, actually in the hydrogen spectrum, electron is present in the first principal quantum number. For example, if the electron from the first orbit is going has gone to fifth orbit and when while coming back it gives different spectral lines like Lyman, Balmer, Fashion, Bracket, Fund and Humphrey so different series of lines will be obtained in the electronic transitions okay now if the electron is in the fifth orbit how much how many lines it can give right it may come in steps or it may come directly that single electron may come in steps it may come to second it may come to third, it may come to second, third, fourth, from which the electron may come back to first. So, but without drawing this diagram, if we, we know how to draw this diagram, without drawing this diagram also we can calculate the total number of By using the formula, we can calculate the number of spectral lines. The formula is sigma n2 minus n1 sigma n2 minus n1 here we are considering fifth and first so here sigma 5 minus 1 which is equal to sigma 4 the sigma is nothing but we have to add the numbers from this number the lower numbers from this number that is 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1 totally 10 spectral lines 10 spectral lines you see here 1 2 3 4 4 lines in the Lyman series 3 lines in the Balmer 2 in passion and 1 in bracket series totally 10 lines these 10 lines are obtained when the electron comes from fifth to first orbit right students now we can have one more formula by using another formula also we can get that is n into n minus 1 by 2 n into n minus 1 by 2 here n is the highest principal quantum number from which the electron is coming that is here n is equal to 5 right so 5 into 5 minus 1 by 2 this is 5 into 4 5 into 4 20 by 2 which is equal to 10. So by using both this formula we can get the number of spectral lines that can be obtained in, a, in the electronic transitions. Right students?